You can find this at Kroger's, Walmart's, Target, anywhere. It's called Ponds. And I don't do that. You use shit. Uh, laundry detergent. Woo, this water hot, boy. Hot, boy. Hot, boy. Bling, bling, bling. Sleeping, uh, creeping up on me like that. Hey, you know how y'all get in? You, gotta, you gave us a key, bro. Got a key. Talking about, bro. Duh. Who gave y'all? Who gave you a key uh, to my house, bro? You. Like, uh, key, bro. Like, coming over. Change my. I'm changing the locks, bro. Oh man, I can't even get no sleep. I can't even get no no beauty sleep, bro. But no, no, I ain't even hear y'all come in. Bro. How long, bro, how long you been here for, bro? Bro, just got here, bro. Just got here, bro. Just got here, bro. Nah, but what's up, Pray 2 man? Welcome back to another video. And I know why y'all here. I know why you here. So, you know what I'm saying? I never seen a dude do a morning routine. I don't know if this is a good idea, but hey, man, we doing it anyway. It's because everybody got a routine. Everybody, I don't care who you is, you wake up, you do something. You don't just wake up and get to it. You know what I'm saying? So we about to get straight to it, man. Y'all just stay tuned. Oh, my gosh. Who did this? As y'all can see. I'm the sexiest man alive, you know what I'm saying? The first step to a morning routine, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really think this out, but the first step, obviously, is to brush your teeth, you know what I'm saying? Wake up, your breath stinks, so obviously, that's like the first thing you gotta do. Don't ask me why I got a guinea pig in my bathroom. Just know I got a guinea pig in my bathroom. I know I got the, um, oh, I don't think I told y'all. I got the tripod. Let me make sure this thing ain't right. It should. I got the tripod going back to my phone since I said I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone. Now I can set it all up. I don't gotta worry about y'all falling and none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, first step of my morning routine is you gotta get you some toothpaste. No matter what kind of toothpaste you use, man, I don't do that. You use shit, uh, laundry detergent, uh, you know what I'm saying? Bleach, all that stuff, man. It works. As long as you're brushing your teeth, you know what I'm saying? So get you some, I use the sense guy, you know what I'm saying, put a little bit of that. You know what I'm saying, then you just start brushing. <laughs> Alright, so before we go another step further, when you brush your teeth, I don't know if you know this, some of y'all might be kids, I don't know if y'all parents taught you right or what, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know to brush your teeth, but another important step to brushing your teeth is brushing your tongue. That's where the stank breath come out of. That's how your top lip, bottom lip start smelling nasty. So make sure y'all brush your tongue, man. It's simple, just literally brush your tongue. There's nothing, no other way I can explain it, you know what I'm saying? So bear back. I need to start working out, bro. I'm getting fat. I stop playing sports and my metabolism slow down. Ooh, I eat more and I'm gaining more. It's crazy. Yeah, man. So glad I'm gonna brush my teeth. Breath smell like um, roses, you know what I'm saying? You can wipe it down, wipe it down, wipe it down. And I know a lot of people be seeing my beard like, man, what? why is he even trying to grow this beard? Like. That's ridiculous. You need to cut that beard. You need to just probably cut it, try to let it grow back in thicker, something like that. But let me turn this off so y'all can hear me. But oh, I'm gonna need this hot water. Anyway. But um, y'all be I, I know I know y'all I know what y'all be thinking. I know what y'all be saying. But let me tell you something. 
the beer club, gonna get the job done. You know what I'm saying? Y'all lucky I'm even giving y'all this, this secret. So I know y'all been seeing me like, yeah, I'm just getting a little thick. You know what I'm saying? Getting a little bit thick. It's still kind of patchy in some spots, but it's working. So go buy y'all some. You know what I'm saying? It's about $4 a bottle, about, about $15 with shipping. Use like a dime size and just spread it. You know what I'm saying? But what I like to do, I like to, because you know, hot water opens your pores. So I get a hot rag. Bring it out a little bit, and I just place it on my beard. So it can kind of open my pores, because um, if you don't know, when your pores are open, whatever gets in it, it, like, it helps it get in it more, basically, you know what I'm saying? It opens your pores, so whatever you're trying to put can, you know what I'm saying, work even better, so. Man, if y'all would've seen me like a year ago trying to grow this beard, y'all would've been, y'all would've, y'all would've been proud of me right now, man. I came a long way. Water, hot boy, hot boy, hot boy, bling bling bling. So now that that, I can turn this water off. Wait my hand a little bit. Grab you some of this, the Beard Club growth oil. Put you a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all, I ain't about to even try to show y'all. It's gonna spill on my hand. Just put it in your ear. You know what I'm saying? Mostly where you want it to grow in. It. Yes, sir. Now we go to this side. Put it in the patchy spots. Patchy places, you know what I'm saying? Spread out a little bit. And the best thing to do is massage it. So my girlfriend told me you gotta like massage it in. So maybe I've been kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's applied. We're good on that. You know what I'm Put that time right there to dry. We're gonna close up this beard oil. Put that right there. Next step, we apply facial moisturizer. A lot of y'all probably use lotion. The lotion is not a facial moisturizer and it may draw some of y'all faces out. You may be wondering why. Like I put lotion on my face, but my face is still drying out because you didn't put facial moisturizer. You can find this at Kroger's, Walmart's, Target, anywhere. It's called Ponds Dry Skin Cream. You don't need too much. It's just for your face. I try not to go with my beard so I don't mix it with the oil. I just try to on my nose, my eyelids. And y'all probably wonder, like, dang, I was wondering how he got good skin. His skin is immaculate. My lips, I need to drop everything else. I ain't got it. I'm gonna get Vaseline over there and go grab it. Okay, so I couldn't find the Vaseline. So I got the coconut oil. Coconut is, you can use this for it. cooking. Shit, you can use this for moisturizing. I use this sometimes when I get out the shower. It's really good, a really good moisturizer, but you can also use it on your lips. Since I can't find my Vaseline, we got to use this alternative. Spread a little bit of coconut oil on your lips. It look like I got some lip gloss on, but I ain't even too much worried about what y'all think right now. It's my story, bye. Mm -hmm. Put this back. Put this back. Next step, you gotta get just the lotion I use. You know what I'm saying? The bean, I don't like no um, smell good lotion under that. What y'all want? So, bean works pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Just, just brush your teeth, you put on water all over your hands. So, just throw you a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, moisturization. Yes, sir. Make sure you're not ashy. I know I need to clip my nails. I know, I know, I know. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Right, now, I usually take a shower, but I took one last night. But I always, but I always apply some deodorant. So everyone just, woo! I know we don't talk about me. I'm about to start working. We about to start working out there. We about to work out. So just chill. A little bit of that. I always apply deodorant at nighttime because I heard that when you apply it at night, it like works better during the next day because you apply you had like the time to sit there and actually you know what i'm saying i don't know don't take my word for it but that's it 
All right, so if you haven't, if you didn't take a shower the night before, this routine might include a shower. You know what I'm saying? So don't be add deodorant when the last day you sweated, you didn't take a shower that night. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not how it works. You can't apply lotion onto dirty skin. You can't apply deodorant onto some sweat, some must. So make sure y'all take a bath, man. That's the first step if you ain't did it already. You know what I'm saying? So usually I'd probably be listening, make sure y'all ready. Usually I'd probably listen to some music or something, but since I don't want to get copyrighted, or honestly, I don't even know how it works. I just see a lot of other YouTubers be like, oh, I can't play music while I'm in, or I can't record while I'm in this store because music is playing, or I don't want to get copyrighted, strikes or whatever. I don't know how it works, but if I end up do getting like 100,000 subscribers, I want to make money off all my videos, so... If that's going to stop it from being able to, or I think the person video you use, they get the money from the video or something. It's something like that. I don't know. I, I watched the video on it. Honestly, I don't know too much about it. So, but I do know what I see. So the most important part about my morning is meditation. And there's a lot of different ways to meditate. Some people cross their legs and do this and um some people go outside take a walk some people wake up early in the morning fix them a glass of coffee before everybody else wake up or a cup of coffee and some people get a glass of orange juice in the bleezy you know what i'm saying and what i do is the last last option so that's part of my morning routine you know what i'm saying i try to keep everything pg-13 um, you know what I'm saying? I don't like talking about stuff like that in my vlog, honestly, because I don't, I don't, um, recommend none of you guys to smoke, man. Smoking is not cool. Only reason I smoke is because I handle my business and I take care of my, my, um, priorities first. So if you aren't taking care of your priorities, if you're just a bum sitting at home, um, wasting your mom's energy and not doing nothing, um, resourceful with yourself or, you know what I'm saying? Anything productive, then you don't need to be smoking. And if your parents tell you that you don't need to be smoking and you don't got nothing going, then you need to listen because you're in their house, you need to follow their rules, you know what I'm saying? But see, I got my own stuff, man. So once you got your own, you grown, so you can do what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Basically, not technically, but you know what I'm saying? You can't just do what you want to do. Certain stuff you can't do, obviously, but yeah, man, once you live under your own roof, you can make your own rules, basically is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, man, y'all stay in school. That's the most important thing. Y'all never give up and always follow your dreams. Never let nobody tell you what you can't do. If you want to be an astronaut, don't let nobody tell you that. There's only 3% of people who become astronauts. Don't let nobody discourage you, man. Because guess what? Just how I picked up a camera and I'm trying, whatever you want to do, all, all you got to do is try. I don't know where this is going to take me. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no further plans with this. I don't, I woke up this morning and, thought of this video and I did it so when you wake up and think of your dreams or what you want to do just do it every day you have to go one step closer you have to you have to push yourself one step closer to your dream every day even if you're getting a notebook and writing down ideas because those ideas are going to lead to you actually doing those ideas you know what I'm saying you wake up and see something every day eventually you're going to do it you may not do it today you might not do it tomorrow but eventually y'all going to do it and I didn't mean to turn this into a, a um like an informational or, you know what I'm saying? Trying to like, I'm just trying to let y'all know that anything's possible. I just felt like I had to say that because I had a lot of people tell me I couldn't make it in music. Now I have millions of views and I stopped. Only reason I was rapping is because somebody told me I couldn't do it. Y'all go look up my SoundCloud, Lil Trey Dub. You have to prove to yourself that you can do it to prove other people that you can do it. If that what? makes sense. Because sometimes, Bro, like, you, you don't believe about, in yourself man? until that you see it's possible. See what I'm saying? I don't know, man. There we go.
excuse. But yeah, man. So like I said, every day, bro. I think this lighter just broke. It works. I just filled it up. But yeah, like I was saying, man, every morning when I wake up, well, I didn't record the first part because I did bring my daughter to school this morning, but I was tired. I didn't feel like, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, this is everything I do in the morning, man. I wake up, brush my teeth, do all the stuff y'all see me do, man. Uh, I feed my cats if they don't have any food and pick up the house a little bit if need be. And I come chill, you know what I'm saying? I chill with the TV off. I'm probably on my phone, probably. But that's my peace, you know what I'm saying? That's my space where I could go and free my mind and take in new stuff, new information and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm just sitting here with my TV off and I'm just thinking. Like, before I made this video, I was doing the exact same thing. I was thinking and I was like, why not do a video right now? I'm not doing nothing. Um, I said I wanted to be... Um, consistent as possible and stuff like that so why not make a video so I can keep dropping I dropped like eight days in a row now ten days in a row now I think I think like ten dang it's crazy but yeah man the grind is real and I'm not gonna stop man hopefully y'all don't give up on me y'all just give me time y'all can see that I made thumbnails for all my videos um, well most of my videos like the last like the newer ones I just dropped all the ones I just did recently. So I did thumbnails for all of those. I'm looking a little bit more professional. My view count is getting, is my view count is actually doubling every video with like the 24 hour count of my view count of every video I'm posting now. So hopefully, man, I just keep going and keep going. I'm almost at hundred subscribers. Um, it's a long road, a long way to go, bro. But hopefully, man, one day we can get to like 50 to hundred K subscribers, man. And I can do this for a living so y'all can actually see how I really live my life. Cause I'm a, I really like to travel. I travel a lot actually, but if I can do that like every month and show y'all, you know what I'm saying? Bring my family different places. I feel like that'll be something that y'all be more interested in. So hopefully man, one day we can just get there and you know what I'm saying? It all takes time and consistency. It's, it actually has more to do with consistency cause the time shortens by the more consistent you are, you know what I'm saying? The more videos you drop, the higher chance you have to blow up, you know what I'm saying? But the less videos you drop, the longer it's going to take to blow up. So it's all about consistency, man. So I'm going to keep dropping these videos. Hopefully y'all like them. I know y'all y'all reacted to my last video, um, the the hot chip challenge. Y'all reacted pretty good to that one. So I'm going to drop, I'm going to try to keep um dropping stuff like that, like challenges, pranks, Cause I know that's what people honestly want to see when they come to YouTube, either informational stuff or unless it's the people that really rock with you, they'll watch your vlogs and stuff like that. But somebody who don't even know you could watch your prank or, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, y'all just don't forget to click the like button and subscribe button, man. And uh, the notification bell so y'all can know when I post videos. Cause I'm posting every day. It's not gonna be, or if I don't post every day, it's gonna be every other day. Whether it's a vlog or a challenge or a prank or anything, man. So. I'm gonna just try to keep going. Yeah, man, I hope I encourage some other people to record their morning routine. I honestly don't even think I'm gonna upload this because, I mean, it turned into like a vlog kind of, I mean, well, I guess this is still my morning routine. This is what I do, literally. I'm not talking to nobody in my morning routine, obviously, but I'm on my phone and I'm interacting with my phone, but now I feel like I can interact. Now, I feel, honestly, I like this better because I feel like now I have my own audience. Even though it's probably only 50 people right now, 60 people, it doesn't matter. It's still my own audience. If you put 60 people in front of me, it's going to look like a lot of people. When I get a 1,000 subscribers, you put a 1,000 people in front of me, it's a 1,000 people. It's a lot of people. So, you know what I'm saying? That's all that matters, man. I'm not going to look at it as a negative way. 50, compared, 50 subscribers compared to 50K subscribers or 500,000 subscribers because everybody has to start somewhere. Everybody. Everybody started at zero. All your favorite YouTubers, um, favorite gamers, all these people, they all started, vloggers, they all started at zero, exactly where I started. So just how they started, just just how they started theirs, and they got to where they're at, I'm starting mine. And hopefully I just, I don't, I'm not in competition with nobody or nothing, but hopefully I can get 
to a comfortable place where I want it to where I'm like, okay, okay. I mean, I don't know how long this video will be. Hopefully it's longer than 10 minutes. It probably will be longer than 10 minutes because I probably won't edit it down that much. Everything I said, y'all need to, you know what I'm saying, take it and run with it because just how y'all watching me, I was watching somebody else. And before them, they were watching somebody else. Before them, they were watching somebody else. So y'all just stay positive, man. And just know you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. Somebody, everybody's inspired, inspired by somebody, no matter what. I don't care what. If somebody built the house, nine times out of ten, they were inspired by somebody else who had the same type of, you know what I'm saying, structure or something. So, I usually have music going, but I don't want to be copyrighted. I think I said that already. Did I say that already? I think I'm going to end it right here because. <laughs> or I can give you one. I don't know what y'all think. Drop down in the comment section. Can I should I give you one? Obviously, you already see on the screen that I ended it. But you don't know that. You don't know I'm going to end it right now. I mean, you do, but not before I edit it. All right, y'all, man, this is the end of the vlog, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that's it. That's just it. And that's that on that. The end of my morning routine. Everything y'all need to know about what I do in the morning. From from waking up, um, from um, doing all the other stuff I did. So, I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Click that subscribe button, man. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. I said that already. All right. I'm out.